For organizations running on Google Workspace, Google Sites can be an excellent tool for internal sites, perhaps for a hub page where there are multiple URLs, guides, documentation that can all be put in one place. Google Sites can also be used publicly for a particular section within your domain. In this tutorial, we are going to map a subdomain to a Google site for Google Workspace users. Note, this is for the paid Google Workspace accounts and not for the Gmail accounts. All right, let's get into it. We have a user or administrator of a Google Workspace who has created a website that we have here. The first thing we're going to do is publish the website if it hasn't been published already. Now we will call this map my site. Once I hit publish, this URL here will be the published site name. Now, if we're sharing this site to the general public, which we will in a moment, it won't be a great site for them to access. What we ideally would want is the domain name to start with mapmysite.yagisanatade.com. So let's first change this over to who can view my site. Now note this is very important for us to do this process here. So next thing uh, we want to publish the site, but we want to make it public. And then we're going to select done. And now we're going to hit publish. And we can view our published site now here with this long URL. All right, okay, so let's change this URL over. Now, unlike in the Gmail account, we're adding a domain is in the settings panel. We actually need to go to the admin account. So if you're not an administrator of the organization, you'll need to share this with your administrator. So if you are admin, follow along here. So the first thing we need to do is go to admin.google.com. From your admin.google.com website, head down to apps, Google Workspace, and then scroll down until you can get to sites. Alternatively, you could also type in new sites to get here. Next, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom until you find custom URLs and open up the drop-down menu here. We don't have any custom URLs in our Google Workspace domain at the moment, but we're gonna add one and we're going to click add custom URL. And here I'm going to select new sites. And here we need to grab our URL for our Google site. So I'm gonna go back and we can grab the link by going to this copy site link here and hit copy and head back to our admin and hit control V to paste. Okay, we're gonna get an error here uh, in valid URL. That's no worries, we need to make it clean so we don't need this subdirectory of home. And we also need to get rid of this HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. And now we're good to go. So let's hit continue. And we need to choose a custom URL. Now, if you want this to be your core or root URL, you could use the www prefix. But what we wanna do is use this map my site subdomain prefix here. So I'm going to copy that and plonk that in there. Cool. Our next step is hit continue. So now we need to set up our CNAME record with our domain host. Your domain host is where you got your domain name from. So for me is my Yagi-san Atade domain name. So this could be from Google domains or it could be from a GoDaddy account or a Green Geeks account. For me, I'm using Green Geeks. So let's log into our Green Geeks account and set this up. Our first step here is to sign into our domain hosting service. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So from my host, I'm going to go into cPanel then search for the zone editor in my case. I'll add a CNAME record and our example is going to be this map my site and the CNAME is going to be this ghs google hosted.com so we're going to click on that and paste that in and add a cname record and back to the admin console and we're going to hit add custom url you can see that it's pending for now and this can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or two for it to be resolved a little longer than a few minutes later so after a refresh and about half an hour later, uh, we can see that the status has now been changed from pending to a happy green check mark. So let's go ahead and click on my map my site and open it up. And you can see it's now being redirected to the subdomain mapmysite.yagisanatade.com. Now if I hit control C to copy and go incognito, control shift N, hit control V. 
You can also see that it is now publicly live under this URL. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe and smash that notification bell for when the next tutorial comes out. Until next time.